What is going on fellow game developers? My name is Muddy Wolf and today we are starting a new 2D series on a top down shooter. I'm going to show you the game now. As you can see we've got a simple little character. It kind of looks like a duck and these little enemies that will try to come towards you. Now it takes a couple of bullets to kill them um, but if you just stop attacking and these enemies start attacking you once they get close they will attack you and destroy you. So we're going to be building a similar game to this please let me know what features you want to see down below all the source code and assets will be on patreon so if you guys want access to that check the link in the description you'll also be supporting the channel as well now we did a vote on this what language you want me to write the code in for this uh, series and you all decided on c sharp so we are going to be using c sharp for this tutorial it's super simple um, and it's easily convertible between gd script and c sharp so in this first episode, we are going to get our player movement uh, all set up and running for our game. So let's start off by opening Godot. So once you've got Godot open, I'm using Godot 4.1.1 stable mono. Now this is important because if you're not using the mono version, you will not be able to write in C sharp. So please make sure you download the mono or .NET version of Godot. And then we can hit new uh, project. Now I'm going to change this to be D. Uh, let's just hit browse projects, game development, select the folder. And then we are going to name this our top our 2d top down shooter tutorial and i'm just gonna hit create folder and we're gonna be using the forward plus renderer i'm not gonna be using git but if you do want this source code again it is on the patreon the links will be down below so let's hit create and edit now the first thing we're going to want to do is swap to the 2d scene because we're making a 2d game and we're also going to want to edit our project settings so i'm going to go over to window i'm going to change our size to 1920 by 1080 i'm going to set it to maximize on play this is just preference i'd rather it full screen than be a window um, and then i'm going to change its stretch mode to canvas so if you do resize it it will not look uh, broken um, and the rest of this should be good the next thing i want to do is go into our input map and we want to add some controls for our uh, player now the input map is those things such as the controls you press to be able to move left and right i'll explain more once we get to it so let's create an up key we want a left key a right key and a down key we also want a click key which will obviously be our mouse click now to add an action to this or a binding we're going to hit this plus and we can either search for the key or we can actually click in here and press the key so for the up i'm going to press w and click ok we can then also click this and i can press the up key on my uh, keyboard as well and they are now both bound to our up method so when we call our when we check if our up is being pressed we'll check whether w or up is being pressed on the keyboard now let's do it for the same for left so we're going to add in a and i'll also add in the left on the keypad same with right down will be s and our down on our keyboard as well there you go we can also add in our clicks all we do is click it'll say left mouse button we can click ok and there you go so now that'll be our left mouse button and that's all we need to do in the project settings now, the next thing I like to do is I'm going to switch to a different layout. I have a uh, default layout called standard, which brings everything over to the right side and keeps the scene on the left side. I just prefer it looking like this. You guys can have your layout however you want. Then I'm just going to create some folders. Now, we're going to have an entities folder which will have all of our um, scenes like the player the enemy which we can reuse and drop in um, we'll also have a sprite scene as well and finally one more folder will have a scripts folder which will have our c sharp scripts in it so let's start off by creating an empty 2d scene and we'll call this our main game now we can just hit save and we're going to save this as just the default path hit save and there you go but our main game scene is there we also want to right click this and set as our main scene just because this is the scene we want to load when we run the game so now if we do run the game you'll see it runs in full screen with a blank game which is perfect 
so let's actually create our player and first we need to import our um, actual sprites so i'm going to drag these sprites in into here and you'll see we have the three different sprites we have a capsule an enemy and a top down shooter png now if we go to import you'll see these are the import settings i'm just going to leave them a default we don't need to do any changes to these but just in case yours are different here's what the default should be so let's go to create a new scene i'm going to create other node and we're going to have a character body 2d this is going to be how which controls all our movement because this is a top down game and we don't actually have gravity we can swap the motion mode to floating because we're actually not going to be grounded as such next thing here we're going to have a warning now this warning just tells us we need a collision shape but before we add a collision shape let's actually add our um, icon here our actual graphics here so i'll drop it in our sprite i'm going to rename this to graphics and reset it to transform to zero 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 now this is this is good but this is way too big for us scene it actually should be 0 0.25 and i'm only going to change the uh, scale of the graphics and not the actual body which we're going to rename to player so now we can see that another thing i want to do is i want to rotate him 90 degrees now the reason i'm rotating him 90 degrees is because when we uh use the look at script or the look at function in the script we're going to have him look at the mouse and by default it will look from the right side so over here so this will follow the out so this yellow point will actually follow our mouse if we had the yellow point up here would actually be looking this side would actually be the bit following the mouse which is not what we want so setting the graphics to the right side will make him set up ready to follow the mouse now finally let's add in our collision shape 2d now we're going to change this to be a circular collision and i'm going to select this and change the radius to be 32 this radius just changes the size of our collision shape now you can see it's not exactly in line with our graphics so what i want to do is i want to drag our graphics so the body of the um graphics is within inside the collision shape and then i'm going to move this up so the collision shape appears underneath the graphics we can then hit save and save our player in our entities directory so now we've got our collision shape our character body and our graphics the next step is to actually add some movement to our player so what we're going to do is select the player and click the attach a new or existing script now this is important because we are going to be using c sharp so what we want to do is change the language to be c sharp so you can start with the character body 2d basic movement however we don't need to i'm just going to untick this because i'm going to practically change most of what's in there anyway so um, all i'm going to do is inherit from character body 2d and this should be good but we're going to change the folder so we're going to move this back into scripts and click open this way it will save in our scripts folder so let's hit create this is going to open up Visual Studio. Now, if you do not have it, if it does not automatically open up Visual Studio for you and it doesn't create an actual project for you, I suggest going to check out Games From Scratch's tutorial and getting Godot set up with um, Visual Studio code. Um, I will leave a link down below to how you can get it set up and then you can come back to this tutorial. So now we have this already. Let's just close this sidebar and I will zoom in a couple just so you can see it a little better, maybe one too many there and there we go so the first thing we want to do is we want to export a public speed variable a public float sorry which is called speed which we will set equal to 300 f f here just stands for float it's what you use to say it's a float another way to do it is by just doing a dot zero however you'll probably get a warning like this saying double can't be changed to float which you can have an f2 so f just says float so then we want a public for public override void and we're going to call this our physics process so delta is just a time between frames so this is the time it's taken to call the next frame this is useful for making sure your game runs efficiently at the same speed but once we're using physics functions such as velocity and move and slide this doesn't actually matter but we need to have this in here because this is what the physics process passes as a parameter so in here we want to call the lookout function and get the get 
global mouse position function here. This is just going to tell our uh, character to look towards the mouse and rotate towards the mouse. We then want to actually get a vector 2, which we are going to call our move input. And we're going to get our input dot get vector. Now, if you remember at the start of this in our project settings, I told you to set up some input mappings and that's the one we're going to use here. So we now need to give it left, right, up and down. Now these need to match what you put in your mappings. Um, this just tells it that to create a vector from left, right, up and down, and this will create a 2D vector. So for example, we'll have a vector here, and you can see zero, zero, this would be your X. So if you were pressing left, this would be equal to minus one, and up and down, which will be your second uh, part of your input, which would be actually be the Y value, um, which if you were pressing down, this would be one. And if you're pressing right, this would be one. And if you're pressing up, this would be minus one. So hopefully that makes sense. So what we want to do is set our velocity, which is the speed our um, physics or our character body 2D will be moving at. And we want to set it to our move input times our player's speed. Now we can actually call move and slide and this will apply the velocity to our body and that is it for our actual movements if we go back to godot we save our player and we hit f5 it should build our dotnet project and we should so before we can actually hit play we actually need to go back to our main game and drop in our player scene so he's actually in the scene let's actually move him from there and just place him somewhere else just so he's actually in a visible region of the scene and there you go you can see our player will follow our mouse if i press left we go left if i press right we go right up and down uh we'll both go in that way as well and this is going to be it for this first tutorial guys it's just simple top down movement script here in the next one we'll add shooting to our character so we can actually shoot bullets from our uh, little guy here make him shoot bullets at enemies uh, and then obviously in the future we'll add enemies and a lot more features to this game let me know what you want to see down below for this tutorial let me know if you're enjoying the c sharp over the gd script um, and yeah just let me know what you think down below again if you want the uh, source code to this you can get it on my page on it helps support the channel and also gives you access to all the previous tutorials um, source code so if you ever need any of those you can go get them on my patreon the link is down below now that's it for this tutorial guys don't forget to leave a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one peace out